hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we'll be seeing how to show a success message okay so when whenever we do any action or submit anything like submission so we need a alert message right so let me click here add to this list you can see please log in to continue but i don't want in this way instead i want in a uh, notifier okay so guys the best example to get the notifier we need to go to alertify.js so now guys let's integrate this alertify.js so first step get started so here click on getting started and copy the cdn links so here is a alertify cdn this is one javascript code guys so let us copy this script tag cdn link and mainly we need to move to our layout okay so let's move to our layouts first just go to layouts inside your resource folder let me close everything clear resource views here you move to your layouts and we are working on the front end so that is the appblade.php file and on that we will paste this link okay this is a live cdn link so now guys let's get back and copy the css so one we have the css and one is your default theme so let's copy this both and paste let's move and paste the link of alertify both css links all set guys all done and now you can get back to your components which we require to add the notifier so let's move to that notifier and here if you move to the methods you get all the kinds of notify so what we'll be using we'll be using notifier let's go to notify here and here we have different custom message set the color and other things okay so now guys first step we will integrate normal message okay so let's go to this position property position and here is your main code let's click here let's copy on the top right so at top right we need to get this alertify let's copy this and get back and you have to paste below your script tag and paste it that's it and now we can remove this don't require and here you set your messages whatever your success message you get okay so before this guys if you refresh you will get this current position okay like if i directly refresh you will get the message directly alertify message so let's see here you see that message current position so now guys what i want when i click any action at that time it should load so for that guys we need to integrate with the javascript code okay so first step this is the live wire code when i click on this at that time the message should show in the alertify js so first step let's move to this button add to wish list so let's move to view blade.php of live wire which we are continuing from the previous video guys if you are not understanding please watch out the previous video here is our add to wish list button which is over here and we are clicking here like wire colon click add to wish list so it's going to is live wire controller that is view.php this is your product view and this is the add to wish list so at this click you are getting the message called please log in to continue so instead of setting a flash message we want to send one more message with the javascript so we need to go to a search for browser event so search for browser event 
so here we get if you don't find that you can just go to the events on the your live error documentation and here you see that the dispatching browser event this one let's click on that here is the code let's copy this and get back paste here so now let's tell this will be the message name and here you are passing some datas so which will be like your text message whatever so my text messages are please log in to continue and I want to send the type also like it's an error or what so it's an info right so you can just tell info which gives the default white color and I want to send the status also if you require for your understanding please log in to continue means that is your authentication problem that is 401 all set guys now to access this browser event dispatch browser event here you have the code so let's copy this code in the script let's get back to our applet.php add the script tag let's paste it align it let's remove this alert we don't require Control x and paste after your alertify code and now we need to uh, get the message that is the event okay so what you are listening over here you are listening to the message and paste here so whenever you are sending a dispatch browser event message you are getting that event let's send here event dot detail dot the text text okay this text is nothing but whatever you are sending here okay this is text type and status so we don't have the space for the type type means that is your success warning info whatever it is okay so for that guys we will be using a notifier so before using the notifier let us check the output once let's get back once refresh and now let's click to add to this list here you see please log in to continue you are getting the message and here also so now guys if you require you can keep this or else we are already getting the alert message okay please log in to continue and the same you are going to paste for every messages okay so let's copy this and here you paste for wish list added successfully and which will be success and this is 200 okay let's copy this and uh, here you paste already added to wish list which means the data is already created that is the message called 409 status and it's a success only okay so not to worry save it and now guys let's get back and by default you can see when i click to add to this list it's showing in a green color instead we don't require this green color it should be an info right so it should show some white color so for that guys you can just go here at the notify notify and you see this okay so let's copy this Control c notify and paste that at this success let's place the notify function and then in the first it accepts the message in the second it accepts the status i mean type even dot detail dot typ type what is the type info or message whatever and by default it gives for five seconds so here you can mention that seconds right now it's mentioned two whatever second if you want you can mention in the third argument okay so now guys let's see the type how the color works over here yep let's click on add to this list and you see that please log in to continue it's an info so it's giving white 
so now guys let me just log in and show you adding this wish list again okay so let's click add to wish list and you will see already added to wish list so we are getting an info okay so guys now if you want to change the color in another method you have three messages one is your error and one is warning and one is success and then one is normal message that is information info we keep it as okay so if you require you can add that warning in the view.php at already added to this list you can keep that warning let's save and let's click to add to this list and you get in some cream color okay already added perfect so guys in this video we have successfully learned how to set a success message or an alertify gs in laravel application with livewire okay so thank you for watching this video guys and let's continue in next video so please subscribe like and share